Hi my loves, thanks for returning. So as you know by the thumbnail, this is gonna be a video on products that I regret purchasing. And honestly, if I had the receipt, I would really try and return a lot of these items. And I feel as though I did give them a chance and you know try to work with them different in different types of ways and take extra time but they just totally didn't work so if you're interested in seeing all of the products that i regret purchasing then just keep watching so the first product that i want to talk about is this elf foundation palette and i have it in medium dark so the problem th with this palette was is it was very oily and when you first put it on it is just it, it feels as though it's mixed in with oil and your face stays like that and then if you set it with powder you get a serious serious cakey type of look i've tried wearing this with different primers different setting lotions different powders and this was just a total fail it wasn't it didn't set me back too much i think it was like six dollars or something like that but this foundation palette no me. okay so the next items that i have are the I have two of the NYX roll-on shimmer it just says NYX roll-on shimmer and you can use it for your eyes face and body so I have it in two colors one is chestnut and the other is green burnt so the problem with these are they are really 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 pretty when you put them on they're so shimmery they're so glittery and you know you you just think that you're going to really be able to do some things with it. So here it is right here. So the problem is all of the shimmer and all of the micro uh, part of <laughs> and all of the micro glitters and things like that. It just ends up everywhere on your face. And it, I tried using it on top of additional shadows and you can't really put another shadow on top of it. Well, I guess you could, but the problem with these is that the shimmer that's in it, it just gets all over your face. You can even do your eyes first and then, you know, do your complexion. It's still, well, once, when you're blinking and things like that, it's going to still, you know, come off as well as getting your, I wear fake eyelashes. So it just gets everywhere. And this was just a total fail and I regret purchasing these. So the next regrets that I have are the Revlon Photo Eye Art. And the problem with these are the glitter. So the glitter is, it comes off really patchy. It's not opaque. You really can't build it up. I even tried putting it on and then letting it dry and then putting on another layer. It just doesn't layer correctly. Now it is good for just a, a dab in your inner um, eye where you where most people put the highlight, but it's horrible. Now, as far as the eyeshadow part, these are okay, but they do tend to, if you do use the eyeshadow and then the um, glitter on top of it, it becomes very, very hard. It reminds me of if you put on a mask and once the mask dries, you get that real tight feeling. That is what these do. It's just, I regret purchasing this. So next I want to talk about the Revlon Photo Insta Filter. Okay, first of all, I hate the sponge. And I've used it already and I'm showing you what it looks like. Okay, and it just looks gross. And I know that bacteria and things like this are all in it. It becomes kind of clumpy and thick where the hole is. Now, as far as the foundation, you will get an Insta filter <laughs> look. However, it, it it's good for when you take pictures or maybe when somebody sees you from a distance. But when they get closer, when they start getting closer, you just really look like a cake face for the most part of it. And, you know, even though I am a person who, when I put on foundation, I like to put on a lot. I mean, I just pile it on. And even with that, with most of the foundations that I use, I still don't get that really, really cakey face up in person. But that is what this one does. So this was a total fail for me. And plus, I really regret it because this little thing was expensive for a drugstore item. I think this was 15 or 16 bucks. And I'm th it's horrible. Horrible, horrible. All right, so the next two items on my list are the Rainforest of the Sea palettes one and two. Now, these palettes, the reason that these didn't work for me is because the shadows, 
in each palette are very, very dry. I can't get them to build up. I can't get them to blend. It's just a really nightmare, you know, and this one right here, the same thing. These colors, I can't get these colors to show up. I can't get them to blend. They're very dry. I mean, it's just, I, it, it's not good at all. And you would think that the dark color and these three dark colors, you would think that you could use them, you know, to really deepen up the crease and your outer V, just really do some good things. No, the, these two palettes, I regret purchasing these. And I bought these directly from Tarte and it's like their return policy is kind of <laughs> after you after you've attempted to use it you know they won't take it back but these two i regret it and, ugh. so the next one that i have is the original formula air spun loose face powder so here's the deal with this one i know that a lot of people like this powder they're in love with it um, and that's why I wanted to purchase. Well, that is why I purchased it. But I found the smell to be overbearing. And typically, if a product has a smell, once you put it on your face, the, the smell kind of goes away. Not with this one. It stayed for me. And then I bought it to just set my under eye. And it left, when, you, when I took a picture, it just left a really horrible white cast. So I don't know if my skin is too deep for this powder. I don't know what. This is rosy beige. I think this was the pretty much the darkest one they had. But it just, the powder just leaves a horrible white cast. And this was a total regret. All right, so I want to talk about brushes. And this is the It Velvet Luxe Soft Focus Sculpting Brush. This brush is horrible. For the money i think this brush was 38 dollars, and that was before tax and it doesn't wash well um the brush gets all you see with it how this is doing the handle gets all uh, i guess the the film that it has over it it becomes to it just starts to crack and it just doesn't go back to how it was when I originally used it i hate i regret this so much every time i see those brushes in Ulta and i look at those prices i'm like really i you know and maybe i did something wrong as far as washing the brushes but i doubt it but then ugh. terrible 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 the next one that i have is a mac, a mac quad and this is a waft of gray mineralized eyeshadow so this little booger if you look at the colors you have a black gray silver and a, a shimmery white and all of them are shimmer except this black one but these shadows for the price this is a black and this is how the black okay let me do this side so this is how the black is swatching all right and here is the gray here's the white and here's the kind of it's a little bit darker than the gray so for me the problem is these shadows for that to be black that is very sheer and these silver type of colors, they're not buildable. If this palette was $5, yes. But, ugh, this is a mad. I just don't like the eyeshadows. Total fail for me. It just doesn't work appropriately. And maybe I'm using it wrong. If any of you have some tips on how I can use this little baby better, please let me know down in the comments. But for now, total regret. Okay, so the next thing I have are the Milani Amour Matte Lip Creams. Now, I like liquid lipsticks. My favorite brand of, or formula for liquid lipsticks is the Kat Von D, and then will come the Anastasia Beverly Hills, and probably after that will come ColourPop. And I like, I have on a matte lipstick now, and I just like for it to dry down, okay, get that dry matte feeling, but I would like to be able to move my lips without the lipstick cracking and literally falling off. And the reason that I like Kat Von D's and Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipsticks is because you can layer it, okay? And it still will have that beautiful smooth effect where you're able to move your lips and things like that. But these, after I put the lipstick on, I'll put it on again to layer it, okay? To get it opaque as possible. And then as soon as I move my lips, they crack. They just crack up and crumble. And you cannot 
apply another layer because it'll just be a hot hot mess these were a total regret all right so the next thing i have are the revlon makeup brushes and they looked they look really pretty it's got a beveled ferrule well this is the ferrule and the rest of the handle comes to a point and it's beveled and it's got a, a metallic a red trim and it looks really pretty now I have some eye products, excuse me, I have some eye brushes as well, but I don't know where I put them, but these are really scratchy. I mean, and, and this one is especially. So I don't know, they, they wash okay, they don't shed, but the thing with these for me is after I washed them, they became too scratchy and I just didn't want to deal with it. I did, I do like the ergonomics <laughs> of the handle and the way that they look I think they're really cute but after you wash them they just become a nightmare all right so another one that I have is the LA girl fine line this is the long lasting fine tip liquid eyeliner so here's the deal on this one it has a very nice tip and it comes out you get a really thin line and you can swivel it around but it's very sheer you can't even build it up you can't it's it's a nightmare so this one right here i i really do need to get rid of it because it just doesn't give that opaque very pigmented look and you think that it's dried out but it's not it just has a very sheer application and i totally regret this okay so the next thing that i have is the nyx lip primer and the idea behind this is you put it on and your lipstick is supposed to go on smooth and smoothly and it's supposed it's supposed to help with bleeding and things like that i didn't find it to do any of that when i used this there was no difference from when i don't use it so and as far as the lines and things like that i've never really had a problem with lipsticks and lip glosses bleeding out of the lip line area so i really can't speak to that but this lip liner or lip primer just didn't do the job and I totally regret this one. So the next one that I have is this e.l.f. brush and I've seen people use this brush to put on their foundation. I've seen it them use it to put do their contour. It's just so awkward for me you know to use and if you have this brush tell me how you use it. Do you use it you know to do your contour or do you use it for foundation? It's just, and then this little booger was $10, $10. I just, it's very soft. It does wash well. You know, it's just, it's it's an awkward brush for me to use. And I, I regret purchasing this. So this will be the last one. And this is a real, a total regret for me. This is the Jimmy Choo perfume. And I should have just stuck with perfumes that pretty much mix with my chemistry because you know when you when you spray perfumes on your body they typically turn into a different type of aroma or smell okay so how they would describe this perfume is it says starting on a fruity notes of pear and mandarin oranges this fragrance involves a mix of green and floral aromas sweet yet clean orchid hints and it says final toffee notes linger in the air summing up the velvety warmth of scents so those notes really don't they don't work well with my chemistry i spray this on and it just turns into something else and this was a total regret and i hate that it just kind of sits on my uh, dresser i may wear it one or two times may maybe once a year <laughs> maybe twice a year but this was a total regret for me so i hate that i got this so that's pretty much it for products that i regret buying if i could go back in time i would purchase those things and i feel like i gave them a fair chance as far as trying to work with them in different ways but it still was a fail it was a no-go it was a regret just just a, a no <laughs> so if you've tried any of these items let me know did they work for you or if you have some tips that i can use please let me know down in the comments and until my next video smooches